Hi friends, welcome to Skill Nurses. In our childhood, when we fall sick, we used to have afraid of going to hospital as doctor used to give injections to us. So nursing students, when they come for this nursing course, they are just eagerly waiting for this procedure of giving injection. So today I am coming with the procedure of intramuscular injection along with some important components of drug administration like rights of drug administration, parts of syringes and needle and format of medication cards. So let us start with this procedure of intramuscular injection. We will see the definition. It is a technique of administering the medicine into the muscles. So what are the purposes of this intramuscular injection? Some patients they do not take anything orally or they omit the drug. So we have to give intramuscular injection. So medications are prepared to give intramuscularly only. So because they get destroyed, they get destroyed in the gastric juice. So we have to give intramuscularly. Some patients they prefer for early intake of the drug than oral medication. So we have to administer intramuscular injection for that patient. So what are the articles and equipments which are required for this procedure? It, re it requires a clean tray which contains medicines and ordered by doctor for therapeutic effect and treatment. The appropriate size of series to 5 or 10 ml to fill the medications which is to be administered. Needle, smallest draws of needle. 24 or 23 or 22 to withdraw medicine from ankylosaur wire and to be intramuscular injection. Spirit swabs are required to clean the site of injection. Clean and sterile gloves are required as a personal protective equipment and to prevent the cross infection. Kidney tray is required to collect wet waste. Paper bag is required to collect dry waste. Needle cutter is required to cut the used needle and you require ampule cutter if the medicine is the ampule. Needle cutter to cut the used needle. White puncture proof container is required to discard the needle. Blue label cardboard box is required to discard the glass material like ampoule or oil as per biomedical waste guidelines 2016. And you require a medication card to record or document your procedure. So let us discuss the parts of syringes and needle. So needle has a four parts. The starting starting point, the slanting part is called as bevel. The inside hole is called as lumen. The cylindrical part of the needle is a sharp and the broad plastic end of the needle is called as hub. Now we will come to the parts of syringes. The starting tip of the syringe is called as lower lock tip which can be attached to the needle or which can be attached to the venous cannula. The inside black part of the syringe is called as plunger piston. The outside uh, part of this syringe is called as barrel. Or which is a plastic tube as having a calibration mark on it in DML. The last part which has come outward which is called a stop collar or flange. The inside of the syringe is the plunger and it is ended with the flat end. So these are the parts and parts of the syringe and needle. Now how to select the site of injection for uh, intramuscular injection. So there are some methods for selecting site for intramuscular injection to prevent injury to the nerve and major vessels. So let us start with the posterior gluteal side. We have, for that we have to divide the buttocks into the four quadrant and the outer upper quadrant is the site of intramuscular injection. For posterior gluteal region, we have to keep your palm on the buttocks so that the tip of the palm is placed on the greater drop and drop finger. Your thumb is directed towards the groin. The index finger is kept on the anterior superior spine, and the remaining three fingers you just have to rotate backward to the posterior superior spine on the left crest. The V-shaped area between the index finger and the middle finger is the site of posterior gluteal region intramuscular injection. You can give injection in midway between the greater drop and drop femur and lateral femoral condyle that is the vestus lateralis muscle. For altered um, site of injection, you have to palpate the acromion process and two finger below the acromion process. The triangle shown in the diagram is the site of delta injection. Now we will discuss the position for intramuscular injection. For intramuscular injection in the delta region, sitting position is more comfortable. For gluteal region, intramuscular injection, the pro prone position or side lateral position is preferably used with knee legs to relax the muscles of gluteal region. Let us discuss with the rights of drug administration. Until uh, we are, uh, till now we are discussing about 5 to 6 rights of drug administration. 
here with I am coming Ted uh, writes of drug administration, right patient, how, how we will select the right patient, you just ask the patient to tell his name. Right medication you have to check for three times while withdrawing the medication from the cover. Then you have to cross check with it with the, your medication card and while withdrawing medication from the ankle you have to check the check for right medication. Right doses you have to check as the available dose and dose um, by the dose order. Then right route you have to select the right route and right site for the medication administration. Right time you have to see for the frequency of medication, it may be OD, PD, QID, TBS, CHS, so right time for medication administration you have to select. Then right documentation, it is very important for nurses as it is a legal document. So we have to record the procedure, then right client education, you have to explain the procedure to the client, then you have to explain the effects and side effects of the drug to the client. And now the patient has right to refuse as they have the choice, they have to, they have right to choose the treatment, so right to refuse is there. And uh, last two rights, the rights of assessment and right evaluation. Right assessment we have to give before the, we have to do before the procedure to assess the condition of patient. And after giving medication to see the therapeutic effect of drug, we have to uh, see for right evaluation. So these are the 10 rights of drug administration. Now we will see the format of medication card. The medication card should contain all these uh, headings like the date, time of administration, name of the medication, dose of medications which is available, dose of medications which is ordered by doctor, route of medication, frequency and remarks if any adverse effect have occurred. Then below there is sign of, uh, sign of the nurse we have given the injection and the sign of in charge nurse. Behind, the, behind this page you have to write, uh, you have to make two columns for diet which is ordered by doctor and whatever patient have taken in his diet and some space, one, one column for specific instructions like monitoring vital signs 3 hourly, ambulating or changing the position of the patient 2 hourly. So this is the format of medication card. Now we will come to the steps of procedure of intramuscular injection. First, we have to keep all the necessary equipments ready in your tray. Then, we have to explain the procedure to the client and provide privacy with the use of curtain. Then, give appropriate position to the client whichever is comfortable for the patient. After giving position, we go for hand washing using six steps of hand washing thoroughly for one minute. In diagram, you are, are saying seven steps, but first and third step, we are doing it simultaneously, so it becomes a six steps of hand washing. We have appropriate size of steroid or clean gloves to prevent cross infection. Then you have to fill the medication from ampoule or vial in the syringe. After filling the medication, you have to change the needle, apply a new needle of 24-23 gauze and remove the air, air bubble from the syringe. After removing air bubble, you have to clean the site with spirit swab in a circular motion from inside outward. Then insert the needle at the appropriate side into 90 degree angle so that it goes into the muscle. After inserting the uh, needle, you check, uh, aspirate the syringe by pulling the plunger backward to see the uh, whether the needle is in appropriate uh, muscle or it has gone to the vessel. If it is the vessel or blood is coming into the syringe, just remove your uh, needle and choose the another side for injection. Then insert the medication slowly by pushing the piston forward. After Finishing your medication, you just have to remove the needle and keep the uh, sterile cotton gauze for 2 minutes on the injection site. After doing all this procedure, you have to discard all your waste material. The cotton swabs you can discard in the yellow dustbin. The needle you have to discard, cut and discard in the white food container. Plastic syringes and gloves you have to discard in the red bucket as per biomedical guidelines 2016. And after finishing the procedure, wash your hands and document the procedure into the medication card. So this procedure along with this PPT and checklist in the PDF file in the downloadable format, I am going to display on the on my website of skillnurses.com. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel, YouTube channel. You can visit my website, you like you can like my Facebook page and just if you have any queries. You can mail me on skinnerses at gmail.com. Thanks for watching skinnerses.